Bear County has reached a sad milestone in the number of COVID-19 related deaths. Plus, you can now shop for the things people leave behind at airports. Here's today's 9 at 9. 100. That is now the total number of deaths related to COVID-19 in Bear County. Mayor Ron Nuremberg announcing 518 patients are now in local hospitals with 146 in the ICU and 79 on ventilators. The mayor saying this is the most significant increase we've ever had in one day in terms of ventilator use. We may be sick and tired of staying home, but the virus is not tired of making us sick. Johns Hopkins University reports there are more than 2.3 million confirmed cases in the U.S. and counting. So much so that the European Union might block Americans from traveling to its countries. The TEA did release guidelines on virtual learning. The agency says there are two methods. One is self-paced online courses with intermittent teaching instruction, and another is live interactive classes between teachers and students. Screams for help coming from this backyard in Middlesex County, New Jersey. A neighbor calling police. Finding three victims, an eight-year-old girl, her 33-year-old mother, and her 62-year-old grandfather, all in the pool, dead. Sources telling WABC there may have been an electrical issue in or near the pool that led to the deaths. This morning, the Justice Department under fire, accused of giving a more lenient sentence to Roger Stone, President Trump's longtime friend who was convicted of lying to Congress. A prosecutor who worked on the Stone case is set to testify on Capitol Hill today. A Bear County Sheriff's Office deputy is on administrative leave after posting a comment on Facebook calling for a, quote, lynch mob. Sheriff Javier Salazar is saying, quote, I will not tolerate any employee who makes insensitive, racist remarks, posts, or those which promote violence and criminal activity. Walmart says it will no longer display the Mississippi state flag in stores. The state flag includes the Confederate battle flag in its design. The FBI has completed its investigation at Talladega Super Speedway and determined that Bubba Wallace was not the victim of a hate crime. Photographic evidence confirms that the garage door pool rope fashioned like a noose had been positioned before the 43 team's arrival and garage assignment. It's now easier to buy secondhand items found at the airport baggage claim. The left behind luggage has been going to an Alabama store named of all things Unclean Baggage. And now the store is online featuring everything from Gucci sunglasses to a Bluetooth hoverboard.